Welcome to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue reflecting with St. Veronica and St. Elizabeth and Satan, bearers of the divine image. St. Elizabeth and Satan, pray for us. St. Veronica, pray for us. Thank you to those of you that have subscribed and are sharing. Together we begin to meditate. St. Veronica and St. Elizabeth and Satan, bearers of the divine image, these two great women show us that God can take the smallest and the most humble act of love and transform it into Veronica's veil, an imprint of his own divine charity and mercy. By Danielle Bean, a friend recently shared her thoughts with me the day before her oldest daughter's wedding. I know she's young, she said, but I'm happy she's getting married. The only thing I worry about is the fact that life gets hard when you get married. She's taking on a lot of responsibilities, and I dread seeing her struggle. I knew just what she meant. When my kids were small, it always did break my heart a little bit to see them suffer. But scraped knees and stomach bugs are one thing. The burdens of adulthood and the pains of the real world are even tougher for us moms to watch, to watch from the sidelines. Just the other day, my young adult son called to tell us that he was having car trouble again. He and his wife recently finished graduate graduate school during a few weeks between graduating and beginning their new jobs when money was especially tight and they were struggling to pay rent. They experienced a blown transmission and AC's engine. engine. In the end, both of their cars completely died and needed replacing. The words I heard my husband speak to our son that night were true. We have been through tough times ourselves, but when we trusted in God, He has always provided us with all that we need. And yet, after we hung up the phone with our son, I found myself blinking back tears because it is stressful, burdensome, and exhausting to go through something like that. And I would rather they could skip it. Sensitivity to and compassion for the suffering of others is something we women have a unique co capacity for. Like Our Lady, noticing that she, the noticing that the wine had run out at the wedding at Cana, John 2, 1 to 12. We often feel the emotions of others deeply and are compelled to do whatever we can to alleviate others' suffering. Our compassion may not ease all pain, but small acts of mercy and kindness in the face of even great suffering can have deep meaning. St. Veronica, whose feast day we celebrate on July 12, is remembered for just this kind of compassionate love. Tradition tells us that Veronica was a woman from Jerusalem who was present during our Lord's Passion. She watched him carrying the cross and move with pity. She offered him her veil to wipe the mud, spit, and blood from his face. Perhaps he had stumbled because he was blinded by the blood running down his face. In any case, Jesus used the cloth, and when he handed it back to her, It bore a miraculous image of his face, as clear as a photographer, although almost 2,000 years before photography was invented. Veronica's small act of compassion was regarded with this stunning, miraculous event, though the story of Veronica Vale is not mentioned in the Gospel. It is recalled in the sixth station of the cross. And there is a relic kept under lock and key in St. Peter's Basilica, which many believe is the veil itself. It is displayed once a year on the fifth Sunday of Lent, and thousands gather for the miraculous glimpse of our Lord's face, just as St. Veronica saw him that terrible day 2,000 years ago. 
I once heard that our small acts of sacrifice and compassion, which are performed out of love for God or prefer or preferred to as Veronica's veil. In the face of suffering, we can feel helpless to make any kind of difference at all. So I like the idea that the small things we do out of love for God and our neighbor can make a miraculous difference. We can all offer God Veronica's veil, veils as we fold our family's laundry, laundry, give our children hugs, drive, carpool, drop off a meal for a, a shut-in, load the dishwasher, or just call a lonely person to say hello. St. Elizabeth and sit and surely offer to God Veronica's veil as she cared for her husband, her children, her, her husband's young, have siblings and her many sisters and students throughout her lifetime. Often all she could give them was food, rest, physical affection, and the words of encouragement. In these small ways, she provided comfort to others as they suffer from illness, grief, and financial setbacks. In a journal written for her sister-in-law, Cecilia Sitton Elizabeth wrote, Dwelling now under the shadow of his cross, we will cheerfully gather the thorns which will be turned thereafter into a joyful crown. God takes our small sacrifices and turns them into something beautiful. Let me, O oh Lord, cheerfully gather thorns. Let me cultivate compassion for others. May I always bless, bless my family, friends, co-workers, and everyone I meet with the small acts of love. I want to give all my suffering to Jesus knowing that he can take even the most humble act of love and transform it into Veronica's veil, an imprint of his own divine charity and mercy. St. Veronica and St. Elizabeth and Sitton, most generous and compassionate women, pray for us. And the writer of this reflection was Danielle V, and she's a writer and popular speaker on Catholic family life, parenting, marriage, and is spirituality of motherhood. She is the former publisher and editor in chief, in, in chief of Catholic Digest and the author of several books for women, including Mom Impotent, You're Worth It, and her newest book, You Are Enough. She is also a creator and host of a girlfriend's podcast. Learn more at danielbean.com. This reflection was previously published to view. You, you know, um, I will continue to be recording more of of um, more reflections that come from the shrine of Saint Elizabeth and Satan. And in the description box, it is very important to reflect, to reflect on the life passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to leave a link to the prayers of Saint Bridget. Thank you and may the Lord bless you and those who you love.